Hello everybody, Kaboost.exe here, back again with another Killing Floor 2 video, and finally, the beta for the Halloween Horrors is out. And I'm gonna be talking about the seasonal item. The item this time around is a skin for the MKB-42, which is one of the three new weapons being added for this event. It is also how you unlock the MKB-42 to be used in regular play. If you've noticed that you don't have it, that's because you probably aren't playing with someone who owns it, or you haven't completed the event yourself. Much like previous seasonal events, there are five tasks you must complete in order to unlock this seasonal item. Much like the item for the Twisted Christmas and the Summer Slideshow event, once the event is over, the item will no longer be obtainable. However, the MKB itself will become available to all players. It's just the skin that won't be. So as you can see, here are our five objectives. We have trick or trap, use traps to kill 25 Zeds in one game session. That one's not too difficult. I'll be showing you where all the traps are. Then we have dead man tell no tales. Busts 10 glowing skull collectibles. I'll show you where 10 of them are. There's gonna be more of them. I'll just show you the first 10 I can find. Then we have Monster Mash, get 2,500 kills. This one isn't hard, it's just very time consuming. And there's something to take note about, which I will explain in a bit. Then we have Party All Night Long, which is to complete 25 ways on Endless on the hard difficulty or higher. This one is, once again, a little time consuming. I recommend get some friends together and do this one. It's a lot more enjoyable that way. I actually really like this map, and the traps on this map will help you be able to complete 25 waves on Endless. Lastly, we have Lord of the Castle defeats Count Hans on survival on hard difficulty or higher. Now, I have played on this map a lot, and every time Hans has shown up. So, if you're looking for Hans, just play the Monster Ball map. And it's a good map. I like it. Maybe later on we'll go a bit more in depth as to what I like about it and maybe what I don't like about it. But for now, let's start with Trick or Trap. Starting with our first trap, we will go from the spawn, of course, and you'll see here is the fountain. Now, if you go to the left here through these two carriages and head up these set of steps right here, and then you try to fight this Zed, which for some reason stuttered my computer, you will find a lever, and not just any lever. This lever activates the fire trap. In my opinion, the fire trap is one of the most effective traps you have in order to do trick or trap. I ended up getting trick or trap done within two waves, so I recommend this trap if you're trying to go for that one objective. An important thing to note is that you will not get kills if you use the trap, just solely the trap to kill Zed. You have to at least damage the Zed or be the last one to damage the Zed before the trap kills him in order to receive credit for it. Otherwise, you will not get points added to the monster mash where you have to kill 2,500 Zeds. Another thing to note is that there's a door to the left here where it costs 10,000 dosh to open. This opens up the alchemy lab and mainly what it is is it opens up the upper area of this trap. Right above the area with the fire is, well, more fire. Now for Endless, I would actually recommend the area right outside the door that costs 10,000 dosh. There's not a lot of places for the Zeds to come in and you have the fire trap to really help you out. Now another area I would recommend for Endless is the area around the fountain. You can just kind of run around there. It's a nice open space to utilize with your friends. Going from the fire trap to the next trap, well, there's an area over here that I would not recommend to fight Zeds in. There's a lot of tables here and it just get, kind of gets in the way. Makes it difficult to fight things when you keep bumping into stuff. Now as we approach the next trap, you'll see there's a statue of Cthulhu here and here we are at the bridge. And this bridge has a lever on each side which activates this electric lightning trap over here, which stuns, or not really stuns, electrifies the Zeds, makes it so that way they can't use their special abilities. Now, if you go on the other side here, you will see there's a pit where the Zeds can fall in. There are spikes at the bottom, and it can kill a lot of the weaker Zeds. The tougher ones, like Flesh Browns and Scrakes on the bosses, will not die if they fall into that trap, unless they got some serious damage on them. When I first found out about that trap, I thought it was actually really funny, but uh, yeah, it's not the most effective. The lightning trap is actually pretty useful if you're being chased and you just need some time to heal. Going from a trap that drops Zeds into one that drops stuff on Zeds, let's talk about the next trap. As you can see in front of us is the spawn. Now, if you go to the right instead of the left, where the left was the fire trap, the right is going to be going up these steps and you're gonna make a left turn and you're gonna see there's this cage hanging out right on the roof. This cage is a cage that's gonna trap the Zeds inside. The lever is gonna be on both sides. Just pick a side, whichever way you're coming at it, you can use it. So let's just give it a little test here. We're gonna pull the lever and take a look. As you can see, the Zed is trapped inside and he can't hurt us. Never mind, he can actually hurt us. So don't get too close. Okay, he can, they can still hurt you. Going back to the fountain, as you can see, the spawn is over there. We're gonna turn around and you're gonna see the next trap. All right, which you might be wondering, what is the next trap? All I see is an awesome fireplace of some T-Rex skull just chilling out in front of it. Well, this is a lever here. 
that's gonna be one of the leathers for the trap but we're gonna use the other one just so we get a better view all right we're gonna move over here it's gonna be chilling out by some balloons so let's pull the lever come on pull it pull it and let's see the little fire that's right the fire look how cool that is that is one of the coolest images in this game just some bats got a t-rex skull that shoots fire mm. Mm, amazing so let's talk about the last trap as you can see over there is where the fire trap is and we're gonna go this way to where dj hans is chilling and rocking out i mean look at him look at him dance look at him having a fun time well here is where we'll see the last trap it is two bells that swing across this little bridge area and of course there is a lever on both sides here's the lever as you pull it you can see the bells swing across it is not the most deadly trap it's a great trap to kind of just push big enemies aside it just kind of goes i don't want to deal with these zeds right now just get rid of them just push them out of the way for now we'll deal with them when they come around again this trap makes it so that the little dance area is a good holdout area on endless but only if you've got a few people playing with you basically you have somebody looking down this hallway and someone watching the stairs and basically just some people helping out with those this trap helps kind of monitor the amount of zeds coming in it's good if you're dealing with a bunch of flesh pounds just kind of knock a bunch of them out of the way and say i'll deal with those later so with that let me give you some locations of the skulls i'm going to give you a little bit more than 10 locations just you know just in case you want them so with that let's head back to the start and here we will see where the first skull is right when you spawn in you're going to turn and face this little fire totem you're going to find the skull just chilling out right next to it shoot it you get to see the guts fly out then you're gonna have to deal with me just dodging these heads hold on just let me move them out of the way all right we're good now so when you go through these little doors you're gonna go to the right you're gonna see there's a skull just chilling out right by the stables on top of a barrel it's a little hard to see because it's a little far away and be sure not to get stuck be sure not to get grabbed by any zeds while you're trying to get that one next up we're gonna go this way basically towards the fire trap but instead of going right through the fire trap we're gonna go left through the gated door that opens if you pay ten thousand dollars you will see it just chilling out right there Boop, there we go so then we're gonna go through the fire trap and we're gonna have different directions you can go where we're gonna go is gonna be towards that cake on the other oh hold on let's get this vrz off, off me we're gonna go this way towards these cakes Behind the table with the two cakes is gonna be one of the skulls, just right next to a barrel, all right? From those cakes, we're gonna go around the Zeds, and you're gonna see there's a, gonna be a skull right by this table that's been knocked over. So just shoot it, and we'll move on to the next one. Which will be behind the Cthulhu statue. So you're gonna go towards that trap, the third trap I showed you, one of the light electricity, and you're gonna just find it right here on the railing. Well, under the railing, or within the railing. Our next skull is not gonna be too far from here. Of course, just like the other ones, we're going in a nice line. We're gonna go over this trap where the jets can fall through, and we're gonna take a left. We're not gonna go past the bridge with the bells. We're actually gonna turn around right before it and see, you can see the skull right there. Hold on, let me just shake this. Come on, come on, get it, come on. Oh, 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 okay i guess i killed him hold on let's just try that again going back up the steps and then we turn left and there he is right there in the corner boom there we go can't bug me this time he's dead so we're gonna go past the dj hans area and we're gonna turn left going down these steps and you're gonna find it kind of tucked away right next to this table boom and we're gonna continue on to the next one which is down these steps you're gonna make just a left here and then go down these sets of steps and you're gonna go the opposite direction of that arrow just gonna go straight over here into this corner next to this dead body on the couch right there tucked away it's near one of the trader pods as you can see and we're going to keep going against what the way the arrows are telling us so we're just going to go over here into this this blood area and as you can see there's some graffiti on the wall with two jail cells in the toilet on the one on the right you can see it just a little bit boom i got it and if you've been following along that's every collectible that you actually need however there are more in this map if you want to see some more i'm just going to show you a few more continuing on we're going to go up these steps into the dining area over here and going to go take these steps upwards basically follow the arrow that's coincidentally where i'm going and it's going to be to where one of the trader pods is as you can see there's the trader pod now right above the door on one of these beams you can find it Boop. and then we're going to go to the last one i'm going to show you which will be at the bottom of these steps you go down here and as you can see it's right there and we're just you see there's the trader pod and there's the last skull i'm going to show you all right and that's gonna be it for all the skulls you by this point you should have them there's gonna be a lot more I, there's a whole like third of the map i haven't looked at you can probably find some skulls there if you want to collect more than 10. you don't need to for any reason but if you want to there you go and that's gonna be it for this video i hope this has been helpful i'm sorry if those tips i was giving you for endless mixed in with the other stuff was kind of inconvenient and a little confusing 
I don't figure it doesn't need to be a 15 to 20 minute video. Those of you opting into the beta, I hope you get your item real quick and good luck getting all those kills. I know it's going to take some time. For those playing on console, I hope that the items will become easier for you guys to get. It's, I know it's not really fair. It's really inconvenient, hard to get those those tickets. He said they were gonna like work on the Z economy, make it a little easier. I actually asked him at PAX, and there's a link to the description below of a video that has the entire panel there. You can see me in the video just for a little bit. I'm shark. I'm the shark. They have a little QA near the end, and I asked them. I asked them for just a specific viewer. I asked it just for you, my friend. I said I was gonna do it, and I did it. I did it for you. All right, I did it for you, my boy. Please in the comments tell me what you think of this video or what you think about this update if you're playing it right now if you're just excited for it if you're just even if you're just excited for it if you're on console if you're just opting out of the beta and that's not gonna just gonna wait till october 2nd for it to officially come out just tell me what you think come on if there's something specific you want to make a video on let me know something you want my opinion on just let me know if you want to be updated for when more videos are out you know the drill subscribe and hit the bell well that's gonna be all for now i've been caboose.exe and i'll see you guys on the next one hopefully Bye bye <laughs> I sneezed and I punched my nose. <laughs> <laughs>